Greensboro is one of the most diverse higher education communities in the nation. We have seven institutions of higher education in Greensboro and all of them have a unique role. The synergies are, are very strong here, in fact stronger than I have seen in any other university community in which I've lived over the last 30 years. We have more colleges per capita than a place like Columbus or Los Angeles or Boston even. It's phenomenal. I mean, I came from Boston. That's supposed to be one of the college towns of the world. As a proportion of the total population, we've got more college students in Greensboro than Boston does. A knowledge city, a city that is vibrant with young people, is really a very, very exciting place to be. There are 55,000 students in this area. That's just, that's phenomenal. Google is talking about high speed. I would suggest that Greensboro can provide high substance, and that's the substance of the individuals at these various colleges, uh, their commitment to helping their students, but more importantly, their commitment to collaboration among the various institutions. And so the partnerships are easy here. The relationships are easy to build. We all are self-standing, phenomenal institutions, but what we can create together is just bigger than what we can do by ourselves. Couple that with the commitment of the business industry to working hand in glove with the colleges and universities, it really gives Greensboro a, a head start on a lot of other communities. The colleges and corporations now have a joint task force working on specific projects with specific timelines to be, build even better cooperation between business and, uh, and higher ed. Greensboro is home to semiconductor maker RFMD. Known for its mobile phone technologies, RFMD's latest breakthroughs are in photovoltaic cells that convert sunlight into electricity. Honda Aircraft Company chose Greensboro for its headquarters. Production of Honda Jet Aircraft is scheduled to begin here in 2011. Guilford Technical Community College is providing the majority of the training for Honda. We have already trained approximately 160 people and that number will continue to grow. Greensboro's higher education community is laying the foundation for a new regional economy. North Carolina A&T State University and UNC Greensboro are partners in a joint research campus focusing on nanoscience and nanoengineering. Meanwhile, the National Science Foundation designated A&T as a prestigious engineering research center. A&T is the lead institution in an international consortium focusing on metallic biomaterials. The ERC's research will revolutionize technologies for drug delivery and surgical implants. ERC is considered the crown jewel award from NSF. If you win, you are among the best of the best in engineering in the world. In addition to partnering with one another and with industry, Greensboro's colleges and universities also partner with Guilford County Schools. The early and middle college program is nationally recognized. We've been involved with the public schools in terms of partnerships for about 10 years now. We've set up the early middle college. As a matter of fact, the partnership we had with Guilford County Schools was the first one, the first middle college in the state of North Carolina. Early college is an early high school, essentially, in which the students get to go ninth and 10th grade on our campus using their own teachers, their own facilities. 11th and 12th grade, they're in our classes with our teachers. At the end of their 12th grade, they get a high school diploma and two years of transferable college credit. So many of them can enter a college as juniors at 18 years old. Greensboro's collaborative environment is a rare asset. The addition of Google's ultra-fast fiber optic network will only accelerate developments in education, in technology, and in entrepreneurship. I mean, it can help us enormously in our teaching, in our, in our research, in our, in our scholarship, in our connections with law schools and institutions literally around the world. I think the downloading speed, number one, is, is going to be great. Number two is the access to information, not only in the country, but around the world to do projects, and not just student projects, faculty projects, staff projects, strategic projects, talking about the future of higher education, both in America and overseas. All that stuff becomes a lot simpler when you've got such a ultra-fast fiber optic network. Google means transfer of knowledge as the fastest way. Well, I think the great thing about this is that we don't know what we're going to find. It's going to open up so many venues to reach out there to not only provide opportunities for individuals to get information at a higher speed, but also for them to connect with people not only in other communities, but in countries around the world. 
is if you're transitioning from tobacco and, and from furniture and from textiles to another kind of economy, a service economy, which we're in the process of doing, the high-speed fiber optic network will enhance that, as we used to say in Star Trek, by warp speed. Can we transmit the knowledge of what takes place between the people across the world? Make them think together without any time lapse. Can we do that? Of course, why not? I think that you couldn't find more fertile ground for development uh, than exists in Greensboro, North Carolina. The possibilities here are just mind boggling. We are able to see atoms. As the atom starts to move, as the cell starts to grow, you're talking nanoseconds. Can we capture that data? Can we data mine that information? That's where the Google comes. We're poised to say that this is something that with our manageable number of residents, we can push to everyone. It's a way of bringing this community together and showing Google how valuable they can be if in this small community and others. Suppose you capture the data which is happening in a lab as it happens inside the microscope with a camera and transmit it with the fastest way and a person in Germany or a person in Pittsburgh or a person in Johnson Johnson can see the reaction at the nanosecond at the same time. Imagine the possibilities and Google is making that happen. Yes, this community is a collaborative community. We understand the importance of education. We understand the importance of having to turn this economy in Greensboro. And with just a little jump start from a company like Google would put us miles and miles ahead. Let us be your guinea pig, Google. <laughs>